We all know a person who's boasted about the length of time they've abstained from showering or bathing. It's either an odd point of pride or a self-deprecating knock on their personal hygiene. Either way, if they kept it up, say, for an entire year, they'd smell awful, would run the risk of infection and could be covered in acne and bumps. So, here's what would happen if you didn't shower for a year. You'd smell. Unsurprisingly, a person would develop quite a funk after 365 showerless days. Rockstar said your stench likely would come as a result of the bacteria and dead skin accumulating on you. After a year you'd have a buildup of skin stratum corneum, or dead skin on top of your skin. It includes a buildup of a protein our skin produces that has a funky odor to it. Bacteria also would accumulate on the skin, giving off a nasty smell when it mixes with our sweat. Brown clumps would grow on you. Initially, the skin would become oily or dry and become infected with fungus or yeast and then bacteria. The dirt on the skin could then cause warty growths. The oily parts of your body would collect dirt and pollutants. This would happen most in places where your body produces the most oils, such as your underarms, behind the ears, on the neck and under a woman's breasts. The body's dead skin normally rises to the surface and is flaked off through normal washing. When that stops, the dead skin clumps together with your body's oils. The clumps would grow in patches and take on a brown hue once they collect dirt and other pollutants. You'd be at higher risk for infection. If you haven't washed in 365 days and you suffer an abrasion, the building bacteria on your skin means you may be more likely to suffer a soft tissue infection. Your head would itch. Dead skin would build on the scalp. We commonly call this dandruff, which causes your head to itch. But after a year, explains Roxar, your head would become extremely itchy. If not groomed hair becomes heavy with oil secreted from the scalp and the collected dirt and pollutants that stick to it. It would later look matted and naughty. You could break out in acne or puss bumps. As bacteria builds on your skin, it risks inflaming hair follicles, causing pimples. Roxar adds something called sebum would build up on your face, causing acne or puss bumps. Your groin area will become a big problem. We warns people to watch out for the groin area. You're likely to get rashes or something called intertrigo, a yeast and inflammation combination that goes from itchy and red to burning and painful. Scum between your toes. Speaking of the groin, the fungus that will grow between your toes could easily spread to the pelvic area. Dead skin would build up between your toes and become crusty. It could then harbor fungus, which could be transferred to your groin while putting your feet through your pants or underwear. It could take weeks to return to normal. Turning yourself around could take time. It would take about a week to get back on track. However, it could take longer. So, we recommend everyone to take showers and to take care of their body. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. If you have more interesting ideas don't forget to leave them below.